Okay. Um, this here is a helper for parallel circuits basics. I know a few of you had issues with the uh, series circuits. This one's a little bit more difficult. So I'll walk you through this one as well. So parallel circuits. First thing we need to do is connect wires. It's asking us to just make connections as we've done before. So we connected the two lamps in parallel. We see the power is going out. A lot more power is going into the first one. Amps, I should say, versus the second. It's the same voltage. So look, all loads operate at the same voltage equal to source voltage. Here we're doing the same thing, but we're just connecting all three. You guys can do that. Now, if you cut the wires between points two and five, will lamp R3 still be lit? What do you guys think? Yes or no? Well, I think that's pretty obvious. You can see that power is going to here, power is going to here and here, all from this one wire. If you took this wire out, would these still stay lit? Yes, they would. So now it says remove the connection between two and five by clicking on it and connect the ohmmeter between these two points. So let's disconnect this wire. And let's connect the ohm meter. Remember, <clears throat> the ohm meter, we need to set this for amps. Okay. So the light turned back on. You see this multimeter can give, act as a wire, can carry the current or connect the current through it. So the light turns back on. And uh, so what's our reading? It's six, six amps. All right, so here it says, remove the connection between three and six and connect the ohmmeter to these points. So we're going to remove this wire. And here we see it's now three. So it's half the amps. Going through here. Still same amount of voltage. There's still 12 volts, but it's only half the amps. That's why the light's a little dimmer. Remove the connection between four and seven and connect the ohm meter. So what do you think this should be? Let's remove the connection. Let me get my meter out of the way. One, two, and here we have two amps. Thus, slightly dimmer bulb. So here we had to connect our current clamp. We didn't really have to adjust it because it was at 0 0.010. It was flipping back and forth. So we connected the clamp and we see that we have 11 amps total going through 
the circuit. Now, we also remember earlier back here, we had six, three, and two. So six, three, and two is 11. So we could have just counted it up without even having to use the clamp, honestly. So the total current is 11 amps. What is the resistance of this circuit? Well, get your calculator. We know it's 12 volts according to we do Ohm's law if we're looking for resistance. So it's R equals uh, volts divided by current. So 12 divided by 11 is 1.09. So 1.09, we have our resistance, and this is our formula right here. Now, connect the voltmeter across R1. Oops, sorry. Forgot to turn, change my wire. And we have 12 volts. Now, if we do the same thing across R2, as I mentioned earlier, we will still have the same voltage. And it's the same voltage for R3. Let's move on to the second part of this lesson. Um, what is the current flowing through Z3? So here's Z3. We got to set it back up for amps. So put it back over here. Set it for 10. D, take out the, uh, the fuse. And you see here we have four amps. Okay. What is the total resistance of R3 and R4? Well, R3, R4, you see it's two wires, so we're gonna have to split this in half. This three, but to be sure, we see 12 divided by the four amps that were going through it, we have three. Oops, I didn't hit the clock. check. There we go, check. Let's move on, calculate the current through Z4. Well, we see here all of it is 24 ohms for all three wires. So if we divide three times 24, I mean 24 divided by three, sorry, I'm not the greatest math teacher, we come up with eight. Then if we use Ohm's law, which is current equals volts over resistance. Well, we know the resistance in each wire is eight. So we have to divide 12 by eight. And we get 1.5. Okay. Now, this says, what is the total resistance of R5, R6, R7? Well, we just said there's three wires, one, two, three. So we need to divide this number 24 by three 
and that was eight, so our total resistance through each wire is eight. Get the total current flowing through the circuit. Well, let me get these wires out of the way. Okay, so talk at the total current flowing through the circuit. So we have R1 and R2. It's one wire and one wire. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. So each of these is 3. R3, R4 is split. So we split this 3, I mean 6, so 6 divided by 2, because there's 2 wires, is 3. So here we have 4. And then we have what we just found in R5, 6, 7. We divided it by 8. So we have 6, 4, and 1.5. All right, so 6, 4, and 1.5 adds up to a total of 11.5 amps or current. I know that's a little tricky, but just rewind it a few times and listen to the explanation. Okay, calculate the total resistance. Well, we don't have to do too much. We already found out the total current is 11.5, so if we use Ohm's law again and divide 12 by 11.5, we get 1.04 resistance. 1.04, we see that's right. Uh, so just go back. Excuse my son. Just go back and rewind this section. Try to get the help you need from it. If you have any further questions, please send me an email.